Welcome to part two of Maker Monday's Wake Up Light episode. In the last part, we set up the light, we put the components together. And in this episode, we're gonna configure Home Assistant. If you haven't checked out part one, I recommend you do so first before watching this. Otherwise, enjoy the episode. Now we have to configure the home assistant. So I connect. So now we're on the home assistant starting side. It's without password, don't touch me. Uh, you shouldn't do this. Yeah, uh, definitely put a password it's in, folks. Only for easiness here uh, removed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what have we? Or what we should do now? We need to configure a light mm -hmm. in Home Assistant. So um, I've made a template for this because this uh, framework supports a lot of effects. We can do some effects. We don't need them, but it's cool. So we integrate it. So uh, the uh, template we will provide on uh, uh, Git like on the last episode, so let's use putty to connect to the Hespian. Log in as pi and your password you set while the installation is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the first step we do uh, on the last episode, we have done a lot of uh, commands as root is not cool, but uh, yeah. So first of all, we want um, to add the user pi to the home assistant group so he can do all by himself. Mm -hmm. So we do sudo user mod minus add minus group. So um, the group name is home assistant and so and the user is pi so the user pi is now part of the home assistant so we can uh, make our changes with the pi user it's a lot of easier mm -hmm. um, so switch to the home assistant directory um, and now we will see that the group home assistant uh, have not all rights uh, to so write we to, here. We need to give some rights. Yeah, we have to give some rights to the group too. So we make a, a change a change mod minus recursive um, group add uh, rights to write to the whole home assistant directory, that's okay. Mm. Sorry. Do this as sudo, so it will work. <laughs> of course. Okay, that's all. Yeah. Um, now we can uh, change to the home assistant directory. And we should be able to do. Uh, yes. So we change the configuration YAML. Uh, we have done this in the last episode, so let's open it again and you will know this file. And uh, quick tip, this here, uh, welcome home. Every time it is displayed, you press dismiss on the login. Mm -hmm. The next login, is, it is back. So you can disable it by this line. Just comment it out. Okay, so that's the show link to... Okay. Yeah, it's an introduction link, so yeah. comment this out and it's gone forever. <laughs> the professionals, we don't need to see that. Um, good, now, the template for this lighting. Oh, we copied that. It's if I type this all in here, it's gone forever. So um, what's important here? Um, we configure. You can see it here. It's a light. Right. I call it wake up because it's a wake up light. Um, we give it a name, wake up light, and here is the the topics I've uh, said before. You configure the two topics for the state and for the commands. And here we say, okay, these LEDs can do uh, effects. Here are some pre-configured effects. Okay. 
from this uh, piece of software. Um, yeah, we can uh, configure the brightness, it can flash, we have colors, that's RGB for. Right. Then we have an optimistic mode set to false. It's a uh, really nice naming. You can set it to true, so it will set up the command and maybe it have worked, but <laughs> okay. really if, not, really if nice. not, it's also okay. Yeah. Um, if you said optimistic is false, he waits for a confirmation okay. of this uh, task. And this only works if you have a state topic. So, okay. so in this case, we have it. So I like the look of some of these effects here. Yeah, we will see Rainbow later. with glitter. <laughs> okay, um, write this down, write and quit. That's all we have to do. Um, because MQDT is already configured, okay. we have done this in, in the first episode. Let's go to the web interface back. So let's check the configuration. Uh, you can use the button check config. Okay, it's very good. Uh, okay, I've copied it. So <laughs> what you should go surprised, wrong? <laughs> so, and now we restart the server. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Take a moment. Okay. We wait until it's up again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now we have here a new light, the wake up light. So uh, let's push and see if it goes on. It does. It does. As really if by nice. magic. So if you push here, this only works if it's on. Mm. So you can here select colors, make a red one, yeah. or make a green one. Um, I don't know the camera. I think it's okay. Or to turn down the light, maybe. So yeah, change a cool color, right. and yeah, wake up maybe something cool, warm, orange, or something so, or nice and sunny. Something in red. And yeah, we have like uh, a brought in oh, a sunrise. We have brought in a cool feature, so some effects here. So uh, you said rainbow, rainbow with glitter. With glitter yeah, 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 let's take rainbow with glitter. <laughs> um, really cool. And if you party hard to rainbow yeah. with glitter, yeah, maybe, as one does, maybe the police will show up. So uh, you can't see it on the camera, I think. Yeah. Huh. It rotates in red and blue. Maybe you can't kind see of. it perfect in the slide. <laughs> okay. Um, this is cool, we have a light. This is cool. But it's not a wake up light. No, not yet. It's a party light. Yeah. <laughs> Which so. is okay too. <laughs> that was part two of the wake up light episode of Maker Monday. In part three, which comes out in two weeks time, we will add the automation to the wake up light functionality. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you then.